Review problem, starting at number one. On the graph below, uh, you see you have a what is the total distance and what is the total displacement on this graph. And you'll notice when you look at the line that the object never appears to go backwards. So in this case, the distance and displacement will be equal to one another. And it looks like it goes from about the one meter mark to about the six meter mark. So it went a distance of five meters. It also went a displacement of five meters. Had the object gone backwards, then the distance and displacement would not be equal to one another. Question two. On a position uh, versus time graph, such as the one above, what represents instantaneous velocity? It's the velocity at any one point on the graph is the instantaneous velocity. So, you know, the average uh, slope would be the average velocity, but here we're looking at the velocity at one location will be instantaneous. On number four, uh, you got some graph. You got a graph shown here. Um, part A: During what time interval is the velocity negative? On this graph, any point in time where the slope is downward is a negative velocity. So it looks like from zero to about one and a half to two seconds, it's downward, and then from about four till four and a half, the the um, slope is downward. And then part B, what about the positive velocity? Well, there you've got a velocity going up um, in the middle here from one and a half to four or so. Number five, average velocity of the duck is zero in a given time interval. What can you say about the displacement of the duck? If average velocity is zero, well, we can safely say that if velocity is zero, displacement must be zero. To get a velocity of zero, your displacement must end up being zero, meaning you either did nothing or you came back to your starting point. And um, I believe it then asks for number seven. A school bus takes 0.53 hours to reach the school from your house. If the average velocity of the bus is 19 kilometers per hour, what is to the east was the displacement. Well, clearly the displacement will be to the east. And then you look at this equation right here again. The velocity that is given 19 kilometers per hour equals displacement that you're searching for over 0.53 hours. So then you'll, you'll multiply the time over and you'll get your displacement. Should be about half of that or so, so roughly an answer of about nine. And then I believe I have eight there. An Olympic record for a marathon is two hours, nine minutes, 21 seconds. What is the average speed of a runner who achieved, oh, the average speed of that person was 5.436 meters per second. What is the marathon distance? Convert your time all into seconds and then do the same thing. You have your time here in seconds, you've got the average velocity, multiply that over, get your distance. It should be a big distance. It's a marathon. A marathon is 26 miles. So, you know, in, in meters, that's very, very far. That'll be the end of this recording.